Hey guys, this is Road Pickle Steve, and uh, we're out here on the Columbia River Gorge, just outside this little town of Rufus, and uh, we're actually boondocked out here. There's a whole bunch of salmon fishermen. Salmon are spawning right now, and uh, we're just camped out here. We got the ramp door and the toy hauler down, and uh, today I spent the day um, dealing with this little guy down here. This used to be, or is, was, the uh, antenna on our WeBoost RV unit. And um, this antenna broke off. In fact, it had been up there. You can see now I have the trucker antenna up there. But this little guy broke off. We were going down some dirt road and tree branch came up and uh, hit it and just knocked the plastic cover off of it. There used to be a white plastic cover that surrounded this thing. Um, and so it had just been, we'd just been using the antenna this way, but I finally decided, you know, I'm gonna replace this guy and uh, get the WeBoost Trucker RV antenna, or not RV antenna, but the Trucker antenna. Um, you can see what I had to do, I had to, take my metal bar and bend it at a 90 degree angle uh, because the trucker antenna's mount, mounting bracket, requires to be mounted on some kind of horizontal bar. It's actually intended to mount to a um, truck side mirror, um, but since, you know, we got this toy hauler, I decided to mount it to my uh, latches. So I took that bar and I just hammered it until I can bend it at a 90 degree angle so that it would mount to that new mount. Um, so I got the trucker RV, and tr not the trucker RV, the trucker antenna because, you know, reviews that I've read and watched suggested that you actually get a, you can actually pick up more signal with that antenna as opposed to this little guy down here. This was the original mount that came with the uh, RV unit. So um, if you have the WeBoost RV booster and you'd like to uh, swap out the antenna for the trucker antenna, you can definitely do it. Um, the trucker had 14 feet of cable, whereas the WeBoost RV unit comes with like, I think 20 feet of cable. So um, if you do get you are going to need a different cable because the uh, WeBoost RV cable uh, has a wider connector at the mounting bracket. Um, so, I mean, if you get the unit and all that, you'll see it, you'll figure it out. Um, but I was able to make it work. I, in fact, uh, the 14 feet just barely reaches for me. Uh, and so far the signal works great. I tested it out. We are definitely getting a little bit better signal than we were with this guy down here. Um, for where we are right here, we're basically picking, getting a signal of about 104 decibels without the booster. Um, with this guy, I was probably picking up about a, um, I was probably getting that signal down to about 98 decibels. But with the uh, trucker antenna, I was able to uh, improve that to about 94 decibels. And uh, of course, the lower the number, the better. Um, so that's it. So this is Road Pickle Steve, and uh, see you later. Over and out.